not really, it's a backyard. But I wanted to give you a quick message about why I'm so thankful to be trans and how I used to think it was this awful thing that ruined my life and now I think it's just like the best thing that's really ever happened to me on my soul's journey. Right on y'all. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? I wanted to give a quick message to you from my heart space to you. And that is, is being transgender is a gift. It truly is a gift. You are able to see from a perspective that a lot of people are not able to see from. And oftentimes it can feel more like a curse. Oftentimes it can feel awful because I don't know about you, but like I'm constantly misunderstood. I'm sure you are too. Constantly misgendered. That might happen to you too. I was just called ma'am yesterday. <laughs> you know, it's, um, it can be very rough. But something that I've learned recently after going through some old stuff and old journal entries of my own is that for the longest time I thought that being transgender was this awful thing, was like a problem, a defect, um, an ab abnormality, a dysfunction. And it's none of those things <laughs> at all. It's, it's like it's like ice cream flavors man you know you got chocolate vanilla strawberry rocky road all these different flavors of ice cream I feel like humans are the same way and not just with like ethnicity and race and religion and all these things but like just who we are how we identify there's so many different types of people and I think it's a beautiful thing and for the longest time and I know in my childhood and growing up is I just wanted to fit in I never really fit in and now that I'm an adult I'm like oh wow I don't really want to fit in <laughs> and that's something you I guess you uh, might come to find yourself if you haven't already but um, I wanted to give the message that being trans is a gift and not a curse and it's an important message for me because I realized that I spent most of my life thinking there was something wrong with me and how we feel about ourselves and what we think about ourselves becomes our outer world and you will project that out onto other people through insecurities, through lack of self-love. And I think back now if I could go to my childhood knowing what I know now, I know like any human could say this, but seriously like just talking about the subject of being trans, as I think back to it and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I knew everything that I know now and would go back to being 13, 14, my life would be so different. I think I'd be way happier instead of just constantly focusing on pain and questioning what the hell is going on I would hope that I would just live my life because when I was younger I played guitar I wrote music I I drew you know I I created things but it was like it was so hard for me to create because it was overshadowed by all of this darkness and all of this sadness and like falling in love for the first time coming out of eighth grade and going into high school and just like not only not having an outlet to tell anyone but also thinking that it was this bad evil thing like when really the whole time it was just this beautiful thing it was just me as a human falling in love for the first time stuff like that that's just an example so I don't know how you've experienced it I'm sure that you've had similar situations to where you look back on something and you're like what like your perspective is completely different that's how I feel about it is I, I look back and I read all these old journal entries and I look at photographs of myself 20 years ago 17 years ago and I can feel what I felt then and I don't feel the same at all and I hope this helps you too if like you're younger and, and you're feeling lost with it is I I realized I was trans at 20 years old I came out as bisexual at 19 um, I'm not bisexual as far as I know, you never know, we're always evolving. But as far as I know, for the past uh, almost 20 years, I have identified, because I am, a, um, almost said cisgender, <laughs> cisgender male. I'm a transgender male and uh, heterosexual. So, you know, these labels and terms didn't exist 17 years ago, and it's really awesome that we have found a way to make words for them because it's who I've always been. It's who I've always been. and. It, it always should have been celebrated. I literally found an old note talking to this girl that I had feelings for 20 years ago. And um, I'm saying in the note, like, 
damn this transgender bullshit. Because I'm like blaming trans on why I'm not her. I don't know about I don't know about you. And I mention this in the book I'm writing. I mention it a lot. And like, so if you feel this, maybe we could talk about this. Because again, everybody's perspective is different. But for the longest time, when I realized I was trans when I was 20 and I came out and said I'm trans, I kept thinking that because I wasn't born in a male body that I was like cursed, that my life was ruined and that my life wasn't really mine. Like I had this belief system, belief system. And if you know, belief systems will govern your reality. Whatever you believe is your reality. So for the longest time, I took on this reality voluntarily that I was in the wrong body, in the wrong life, and this wasn't my life, and that that girl that I had written a note about and said, damn, the trans stuff, that it was the fact I'm transgender. It was that, that was the reason why I wasn't with her. And now I look back, I'm like, what? No. I mean, one could say, oh yeah, you weren't with her because of that. Because if you were straight, maybe she would have been with you. Been with you. Well, I am straight. Okay, well, if you were cisgender and straight, then maybe you would have been with her. But now I look at it as, well, we weren't meant to be together because I am trans and I was meant to be transgender. Like I have a video about reincarnation and I'm gonna have to go look over it again because a lot of my pers um, perspective has changed in the past few years since I made that. And like, I think I more so wondered if I was trans in this life to live out karma from being a possible womanizer in a past life. And now I don't necessarily feel that way. Like, I mean, past life that I explained was my was a past life of mine but I don't think that I came here on earth to be punished for being a womanizer in a past life I mean I could be working through some karma with people but I'm a multi-dimensional being you probably are too if you're watching this video and I know that I chose to come here like I'm a volunteer the wave of volunteers Dolores Cannon I got the call and I'm here and that, that was another huge thing too, is to realize that I chose to come here. I had a, a psychic one time, <laughs> she got all sassy with me and she was like, don't you get mad, you chose to come here. And, and you know, <laughs> she was like, don't you get all mad about being transgender, you chose to come here. I was like, what? Like she didn't know anything about me or that I was trans or anything, I'm like, oh my goodness. And that started to open up my eyes. That was like probably eight years ago. but. Um, yeah, it's like being transgender is a blessing. You're able to see things through a perspective that most people don't. And the thing is, here's, here's the freaking meat of it all, the meat and potatoes. All right, so here's the meat and potatoes of it all, even though I don't eat, eat meat anymore. Society has been deeming being trans or gay or LGBTQ, they've been deeming it wrong for a long time. And now like we're having a lot of pride go on that's amazing and things have really, really progressed. But coming from somebody, like, again, my personal experience was coming out almost 20 years ago and growing up in the 80s and 90s where it was not kosher to be gay for the most part. So that experience obviously was frustrating, I'm sighing, but it's like dawned on me that it's really, it's society. Society has made it this bad thing all these years and it's never been a bad thing. Imagine if I'd never turned on a TV or never went to school with a bunch of other kids. Say I was homeschooled and lived on some awesome hippie commune somewhere in California and grew up thinking that being gay was just as regular as being straight. I would never even think it was a problem. See, it's all perspective. So I spent all these years self-sabotaging, drinking, drugging, basically self-sabotaging, self self-destructing, hurting myself because I developed so much self-hatred. And it's really hard to even say that on camera, but I'm saying it because I, I hope it helps could help somebody. Because looking back again like at my age now looking back at, as a 37 year old back to my 17 year old self my 18 year old self I want to give that version of me the biggest hug because they're so brainwashed into thinking 
that it's bad or they're bad or will society accept them or oh I can't be a singer because I'm transgender you know I can't I can't go be an actor because I'm transgender like all of this these limited beliefs that are completely unnecessary and I just want to hug that version of me and say you can be anything you want to be because it's the truth it's the truth you know my grandmother passed away um, about two and a half years ago now and she was my rock and she she was a lot of people's rocks and she's a very strong woman with a lot of um, very strong grandkids and she had written in this little diary I had when I was like eight years old and I just found it how beautiful is that right haven't seen it since I was like eight and it said you can do anything you want to I'm getting choked up you can do anything you want to and that was before she knew that I was trans or this and that. But the thing is, is it didn't even matter. I thought it mattered. All those years, for almost 20 years, I've been walking around thinking, oh, but I'm trans. What about, what about, no, but I'm trans. Like, it's like something's wrong. When the whole time, it's just nothing's been wrong. Yes, as far as society goes, it can be challenging. I was just misgendered yesterday going to get a snow cone. <laughs> sucked but I knew that the person didn't do it maliciously you know so it's not all rainbows and freaking butterflies like the world can be a very dark scary place and it can be rough but you you are a sovereign being of light you at least have the right to be and as we learn this as I learn this as we learn this you know, it's just about staying in your own power because I'm somebody who has given my power away for the majority of my life. And I'm just now learning to take my power back. And a big way I'm taking my power back is to remind myself every day that it is a blessing to be trans. It's a blessing. And please don't get so caught up in the haters. I've done it and it's not worth it. And something that I've recently learned is that everybody's entitled to their own opinion and something I also learned recovering of being a people pleaser in my day is that like I don't know if it was Aaron Doughty somebody said this and it really made a lot of sense for me and if you haven't heard it yet hopefully it'll make sense for you but okay let me ask you something do you like everyone you meet you probably don't I don't I haven't liked everyone I've ever met in my life and there's even been a lot of people that I want to like, but something just feels off and I just, something's off. We have to respect the fact that not everyone's going to like us because we don't like everyone. For the longest time, I, I was like, I want everyone to like me. You know, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, but why? I realized is I didn't really like myself. Like, it's like I wasn't validating my own human experience so it was like I wanted everyone else to validate me. I wanted, I got dirt on my hands. <laughs> I'm, like, ah! I'm just playing in the dirt down here, it's cool. Um, I wanted everyone to like me. And it was coming from a place of a lack of my own self-love, of, of liking myself. Cause it's like, I wanted everyone to like me, but I didn't really like me at the time. I was so mad about, you know, the fact that I had been an addict for so long and the, the fact that I was trans and it was a big issue and when really being trans was never an issue. Addiction's an issue, but it's also an issue you can overcome. So I just wanted to throw this message out here because I know that so many of us in the queer community communities, not just trans people, have grown up and maybe still think that something is wrong with them because of who they are. And I just want to remind you that there's nothing wrong with you. You're an amazing multi-dimensional being in a body having a human experience and you chose to come here that's the thing and that's my belief system I know a lot of people watching this channel probably believe the same thing because you know we attract each other um, I've mentioned Dolores Cannon so many times and I'll mention her again like she talks a lot about this is we chose to come here as souls and to incarnate and I truly believe that and so I have to remind myself that I chose to be trans because for the longest time, again, I did not think I chose to be trans. I was raised as a strict Roman Catholic. 
and we did not believe that we chose to come here. That was not the belief system. And that's fine, and I don't mean to piss on anybody who is Catholic, but like, I'm just explaining my story. That's the way I grew up. And I'm sure there are Catholics that, you know, believe that we are multidimensional beings. This is the thing. It's, it's just my experience. That's all I can speak from is my own experience, okay? So, growing up in a religion like that, thinking that I was the victim of circumstance. That is one of the biggest things that helped me to change and to feel better about life is to realize that I am not a victim. And I'm still working on coming out of that whole victim mode mentality. It's rough, man, because it's just so addictive. You, did you know that drama and all that is actually like addictive? When you go into the, the study of the brain and, and everything, like we literally become addicted to our own bullshit. And it's our responsibility to let that shit go, to let that go. So let's see, this message is getting pretty damn long. So I'm going to, and I've been cussing a lot in this video, my bad, <laughs> just being real y'all. Um, I just wanted to get this message out because it feels like it's been such a life-changing thing for me is to come to terms with the fact that being trans is not an issue. And again, it can be challenging. It's challenging when I'm misgendered and I still, want to do top surgery haven't done it yet and of course I haven't taken hormones so you hear my you hear my little pretty voice you know <laughs> and uh, and you see me with with a chest I'm not gonna show it because because I do experience gender dysphoria with it you know it's like I just want to be real like shit's still real like even though being trans isn't an issue it can still be challenging so I don't want to just throw it aside like, oh, it's all cool and being trans is awesome all the time. Like it's freaking challenging, but it's awesome in a sense that it's who you are. And that's my biggest thing is like, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself from years ago and now because I see the difference and I'm really thankful about it. I'm really thankful that I no longer think that my whole life is a mistake. I mean, dude, I literally thought that my whole life was just like a mistake and that the girls that I had fallen in love with could have been my girlfriends, but they weren't because I'm trans. And now I'm like, no, like if I could go back, I would go tell myself when I was a teenager, starting to really date, I'd say, go to the local queer coffee shop and try to date people that are interested in other queer people. Stop going amongst all the cisgender heterosexual people and getting your heart broken. Yeah, because I have to respect, like the girls that I fell in love with that didn't feel the same for me, I have to respect their journey too. I have to respect the fact that they are attracted to biological men. Even though I feel like I should have been one, that's the thing. I wasn't meant to be one because if I was meant to be a cisgender male, I would have been a cisgender male. And that's the big, that's the big thing here. That's the big message is that I was meant to be trans. You were meant to be trans. And I know it can be hard sometimes, but we're in this together, y'all. I love being trans and I'm very proud, but I also have to say that there's so much more to this world for me than being trans. Trans is a, is a part of it. It's like a character I play. But when it comes down to it, like you, I am a multi-dimensional freaking being having a human experience, an alchemist. We came here to learn how to man manipulate energy. And in my personal belief system, it's manipulate energy manipulating uh, energy for the greatest good, for the greater good. Because there are people on this planet that do the opposite, but it's all about alchemizing the darkness into the light. With that, I'm gonna stop talking. I could probably ramble on forever. It's been a long time since I made a video, so I, I guess I have a lot to say, but I'm going to be making another angel video soon, and I'm excited about it. <sighs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea and go strum a guitar. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day or night, wherever you are, whatever now moment that you're receiving this video. Thank you so much everybody for following, for the new subscribers, the liking the videos, of course. Um, thank you to everyone who's been here along the journey. It's been an amazing journey. And I also have to say that I've learned a lot about myself just by making this channel. Cause I'll look back at older videos and be like, what you know <laughs> like I think any youtuber could say that like oh god that was a rough video I'll probably look back at this video two years from now and be like that this is a rough video <laughs> it's all about the journey it's all about um, evolving into our highest beings and to who we're meant to be 
Much love, y'all. Be good. Be good to yourself. Don't forget to drink a bunch of water, all right? With lemon in it. It's good. It's good stuff.